crossroads of the eastern and western hemispheres lies a continent of remarkable diversity and rich cultural history, Europe. Spanning a land area of about 10 million square kilometers, it is the second smallest continent on our planet. Yet within its compact borders, Europe harbors a staggering variety of landscapes and cultures that have shaped the course of human history. Europe is an enchanting mosaic of geographical features that range from the sun-kissed beaches of the Mediterranean to the icy tundra of the Arctic Circle. It is home to some of the world's highest mountains, vast plains and rugged coastlines that stretch for thousands of kilometers. Mountain ranges such as the Alps, Pyrenees and Carpathians pierce the skies of Europe, their snow-capped peaks standing as silent sentinels over the lands below. These mountains are not just geographical landmarks, they are also key players in Europe's climate, acting as barriers that influence weather patterns. Europe's plains, on the other hand, tell a different story. The vast flat landscapes of places like the Russian steppe or the Hungarian pusta are a testament to the continent's agricultural richness. These fertile lands have been the breadbasket of Europe for centuries, feeding nations and fueling economies. And then there are the coastlines, a breathtaking panorama of rugged cliffs, sandy beaches and serene bays. From the fjords of Norway to the cliffs of Dover and the sandy beaches of Spain, Europe's coastlines are as varied as they are beautiful. Europe's geographical diversity is matched only by its cultural richness. Each region of this continent is a unique tapestry of customs, languages and traditions. The Mediterranean region, with its love for life and food, is a stark contrast to the Nordic countries, known for their minimalist design and love of nature. Eastern Europe, with its complex history and rich folklore, stands in sharp contrast to the cosmopolitan vibe of Western Europe. In essence, Europe is a continent of contrasts, a symphony of landscapes and cultures that blend together to create a melody that is uniquely European. Its geographical diversity has shaped its history, influenced its culture, and continues to enchant those who explore its lands. Whether it's the towering peaks of the Alps, the vast plains of Russia, or the rugged coastlines of the Mediterranean, each corner of Europe has a story to tell, a culture to share, and a landscape to admire. This is the magic of Europe, a continent where geography and culture intertwine to create a tapestry of experiences that is as diverse as it is captivating. Have you ever wondered about the top travel destinations in the world? Places that offer unique experiences, breathtaking landscapes, and a rich cultural heritage? Well, buckle up for a journey around the globe as we explore four of the world's most enchanting cities. Our first stop is the city of love, Paris. This French capital is a treasure trove of iconic landmarks. Imagine standing beneath the majestic Eiffel Tower, its iron lattice reaching up to touch the sky. Picture yourself strolling through the Louvre, home to thousands of works of art, including the enigmatic Mona Lisa. But Paris is not just about sightseeing. It's a city that invites you to immerse yourself in its culture. Relish the French cuisine, sip on some of the world's finest wines, and let the charm of Paris captivate your heart. Next, we journey to Rome, the eternal city. Rome is a living museum, a testament to Italy's glorious past. Walk on the ancient stones of the Colosseum, where gladiators once battled for their lives. Wander through the Roman Forum, once the heart of the Roman Empire. Yet Rome isn't confined to its past. It pulses with vibrant street life, bustling markets, and mouth-watering Italian cuisine. Enjoy a scoop of gelato as you absorb the energy of this timeless city. Our third destination is the vibrant city of Barcelona. This Spanish gem is a playground for lovers of architecture. Marvel at the surreal creations of Antoni Gaudi, including the ever-unfinished Sagrada Familia. But Barcelona offers more than architectural wonders. Feel the golden sand between your toes at one of its Mediterranean beaches. Experience the lively street scenes filled with music, laughter, and the mouth-watering aroma of paella. Finally, we sail to the idyllic island of Santorini in Greece. This is a place where stunning landscapes meet architectural beauty. Gaze at the whitewashed buildings clinging to the cliffside, their blue domed churches standing out against the azure sea. Santorini is not just a feast for the eyes, though. Indulge in local cuisine, savor the unique wines, and soak up the laid-back lifestyle of this Greek paradise. 
In summary, each of these destinations offers a unique blend of history, culture, and natural beauty. Paris enchants with its art and iconic landmarks. Rome captivates with its historical sites and vibrant street life. Barcelona dazzles with its unique architecture and beach life. Santorini mesmerizes with its stunning landscapes and relaxing lifestyle. So, whether you're a history buff, a foodie, an art enthusiast, or a beach lover, these destinations promise unforgettable experiences. So, go ahead, pack your bags, and embark on the journey of a lifetime. The curtain rises on a world painted with nature's most vibrant colors. Picture the towering peaks of the Swiss Alps, piercing the sky with their snow-capped summits. Here, the air is thin and crisp, carrying the scent of pine and the faint echo of distant avalanches. Each turn in the trail reveals a vista more breathtaking than the last, where the grandeur of the mountains meets the serenity of the valleys. Nestled in these valleys are Swiss villages, untouched by time. Their cobblestone streets echo with whispers of the past, while their rooftops dusted with fresh snow glimmer under the sun. The Alpine chalets with their intricately carved balconies showcase the exquisite craftsmanship of the locals. The villages are a testament to the harmonious blend of tradition and nature. From the grandeur of the Alps, our journey takes us to a different spectacle of nature's artistry, the Plitvice Lakes in Croatia. This national park is a symphony of cascading lakes and waterfalls, where the water's melody is the only sound that breaks the silence. The lakes exist in a gradient of colors from azure to emerald, reflecting the surrounding forest and sky. The waterfalls, meanwhile, are nature's orchestra, playing a symphony that resonates throughout the park. They are a testament to the power of water, carving through limestone and creating a landscape that's ever-changing, ever astonishing. A walk through the wooden footpaths feels like stepping through a watercolor painting, where every corner is a new stroke of nature's brush. These two natural wonders, the Swiss Alps and the Plitvice Lakes, are more than just beautiful landscapes. They are the embodiment of nature's power and artistry, where every rock, every tree, every drop of water tells a story. They are places where we can lose ourselves in the beauty of the world, and in doing so, find ourselves. To summarize, the Swiss Alps with their majestic mountain scenery and picturesque villages offer a unique blend of natural beauty and cultural heritage. On the other hand, Plitvice Lakes in Croatia, with their cascading waterfalls and diverse ecosystem, emphasize the importance of ecological preservation and the awe-inspiring power of nature. Both these places are a testament to the wonders of the natural world, waiting to be explored, appreciated, and cherished. As January unfurls, Scotland sets the tone with its Burns Night. This annual celebration on the 25th of January honors the life and work of the national poet, Robert Burns. Expect haggis, whiskey, and a hearty recitation of Burns's poetry as the Scots pay tribute to their beloved bard. February ushers in the vibrant and iconic Carnival of Venice. A spectacle of ornate masks and elaborate costumes, this festival transforms the city into a live stage where mystery and beauty reign. The festival, which dates back to the 14th century, is a testament to the city's rich history and artistic flair. As the winter chill gives way to the first stirrings of spring, Spain's Las Falas lights up the city of Valencia. In this mid-March festivity, giant sculptures of papier-mâché and wood take over the city, only to be set aflame in a spectacular display of fireworks and bonfires. In April, the Netherlands paints a vibrant picture with its tulip festival. Fields upon fields of this iconic flower bloom in a riot of colors, turning the Dutch countryside into a living, breathing masterpiece. And as summer sets in, Sweden welcomes the longest day of the year with its midsummer festival. Held in late June, this celebration is all about dancing around the maypole, feasting on pickled herring, and enjoying the outdoors. From the warmth of summer, we move to Oktoberfest in Germany. This 16 to 18 day folk fest in Munich is a beer lover's paradise. Traditional music, mouth-watering food, and Bavarian culture make this autumn festival a must visit. Finally, as the year draws to a close, the famed Christmas markets of Europe come alive. From Vienna to Strasbourg, these markets are a delight of festive treats, handmade crafts, and twinkling lights. From the poetry of Burns Night in Scotland to the masked revelry of Venice's carnival, the fiery sculptures of Spain's Las Falas, to the colorful tulips of the Netherlands. 
From the joyous midsummer in Sweden to the lively Oktoberfest in Germany, and finally, the magical Christmas markets. Europe's festivals are a year-long journey of cultural discovery. Each celebration is a unique blend of tradition, art, food, and fun, offering an unforgettable experience. So the next time you're planning a trip to Europe, remember it's not just about the destinations, but also the festivals that make this continent a vibrant tapestry of cultures. Europe's festivals are not just dates on a calendar, they are living, breathing expressions of a rich and diverse cultural heritage. And that's the true beauty of Europe, a continent that celebrates life in its own unique style all year round. In the heart of Greece's bustling capital Athens lies an ancient gem that has stood the test of time. Its grandeur is a testament to the city's vibrant past and its profound influence on the course of Western civilization. This is the Acropolis, an architectural marvel that dates back to the 5th century BC. The Acropolis, from the Greek words Akron meaning highest point and polis meaning city, was the center of Athens, both geographically and socially. It was a city upon a hill, a symbol of Athenian democracy and a beacon of Greek culture. The construction of the Acropolis began under the leadership of Pericles, a prominent and influential statesman, orator and general in Athens. His vision was to build a monument that would glorify the city and its goddess protectress Athena. The most iconic structure on the Acropolis is the Parthenon, a temple dedicated to Athena. Built between 443 and 438 BC, it is an embodiment of classical Greek architecture, characterized by its sturdy Doric columns and intricate sculptures. The Erechtheion, another fascinating structure, was built between 421 and 405 BC. It is famous for its caryatid porch, where columns are replaced by statues of women. Thousands of miles away, nestled on the banks of the Rhine, is another architectural marvel that has withstood the ravages of time, the Cologne Cathedral in Germany. This towering edifice, a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, took over 600 years to complete. Construction began in the 13th century and was completed in the 19th century. The cathedral is renowned for its intricate details, from the flying buttresses that support its massive walls to the stunning stained glass windows that bathe the interior in a myriad of colors. Its twin spires reach towards the heavens, making it the second tallest church in Europe and the third tallest in the world. Inside it houses treasures such as the Shrine of the Three Kings, which is said to hold the remains of the Biblical Magi. Both these architectural marvels, the Acropolis in Athens and the Cologne Cathedral in Germany, stand as testaments to human ingenuity and the enduring power of culture and history. They remind us of the heights that human creativity can reach and the depths of our shared past. To summarize, the Acropolis in Athens with its iconic Parthenon and Erechtheion is a symbol of ancient Greek culture and democracy. The Cologne Cathedral, with its stunning Gothic architecture and historical treasures, is a beacon of faith and a testament to the perseverance of the human spirit. Both these landmarks continue to draw visitors from around the world, offering a glimpse into the past while standing firmly in the present. What is it that makes life in Europe so irresistibly unique, so different? Is it the rich tapestry of cultures, the intertwining histories and traditions, or perhaps it's the distinct lifestyles and atmospheres that each region offers. Today, embark on a journey through the modern European life, a voyage through the unique aspects of Scandinavian lifestyle and the inviting warmth of Vienna's cafe culture. Europe isn't just a continent, it's a way of life, a collection of diverse lifestyles that have evolved over centuries. Among these, the Scandinavian lifestyle stands out for its emphasis on simplicity, functionality, and connection with nature. It's a lifestyle that values the quality of life and well-being above all else. In countries like Sweden, Norway, and Denmark, life isn't just about work. It's about finding a balance between work and personal life. It's about enjoying the simple pleasures, whether that's cycling to work, going for a swim in the local lake, or spending quality time with loved ones. Scandinavian design, too, reflects this philosophy. It's modern, minimalistic, and functional, yet never sacrifices aesthetics. It's about creating spaces that are not just visually pleasing, but also comfortable and conducive to a good quality of life. Sustainability is another cornerstone of Scandinavian living. 
from recycling and renewable energy to eco-friendly architecture, the Nordic countries are pioneers in sustainable living. It's an integral part of their lifestyle, a testament to their respect for nature and commitment to preserving it for future generations. But Europe's charm isn't confined to the North. Venture to the heart of the continent, to the city of Vienna, and you'll find a different yet equally enchanting lifestyle. Vienna's cafe culture is a world in itself, a melting pot of history, art, and culinary delights. The Viennese coffee house is more than just a place to enjoy a cup of coffee. It's a social institution, a place where time seems to stand still, where conversations flow as smoothly as the coffee, and where the hustle and bustle of the city fades into the background. Classical music echoes through the streets of Vienna, a testament to the city's imperial history. The grandeur of the past still resonates in the city's architecture, its palaces, and its coffee houses. Yet, Vienna is far from being stuck in the past. It's a city that has embraced the modern while preserving its rich heritage. So what makes life in Europe unique? It's the diversity of lifestyles, the balance between modernity and tradition, the emphasis on quality of life. It's the simplicity and functionality of Scandinavian living, the sustainable practices ingrained in their everyday life. It's the warmth and charm of Vienna's cafe culture, the city's blend of historical grandeur and modern vibrancy. In essence, it's the European way of life, a testament to the continent's rich cultural heritage and its ability to evolve and adapt while staying true to its roots. It's a way of life that's as diverse as it is unique, as enchanting as it Ever is inspired. wondered why so many people dream about traveling through Europe, but get put off by the seeming complexity of the process? Well, it's time to demystify the secrets of European travel and make it accessible for everyone. The first hurdle to conquer is the Schengen visa, a magical key that opens the door to 26 European countries. To obtain this, you need to follow a few simple steps. Begin with a thorough check of whether you need a Schengen visa. Citizens of some countries are exempt, so confirm this before proceeding. If you do need one, determine which country will be your main destination or the first point of entry if you're visiting multiple countries. Next, gather the required documents. Typically, you'll need a valid passport, two passport photos, proof of accommodation, travel insurance, a cover letter stating your itinerary, and evidence of sufficient funds for your stay. Once you have all your documents, it's time to apply. Fill out the application form, pay the fee, and schedule an appointment at the embassy or consulate of the country you're planning to visit. After the interview, you just have to wait for the visa to be granted. The processing time varies, but it's usually between two weeks to two months. So it's best to apply well in advance of your travel dates. With the visa sorted, let's move on to travel logistics. Europe offers a variety of transportation options. Trains are a popular choice and provide an opportunity to take in the scenic beauty of the continent. Budget airlines are another great option, offering quick and affordable travel between cities and countries. However, keep in mind that Europe is a tapestry of cultures and languages. From the romance of French and Italian to the uniqueness of Hungarian and Finnish, you'll encounter a broad spectrum of languages. Don't let this intimidate you. Many Europeans are multilingual, and English is widely spoken in major cities and tourist areas. For those tricky moments when you need help with language translation, technology comes to the rescue. Download a language app like Google Translate or Duolingo, which can be real lifesavers in a pinch. To summarize, traveling through Europe is a dream that can be achieved with a bit of planning and preparation. Acquiring a Schengen visa involves a clear process of gathering documents, applying, and attending an interview. Once that's sorted, you can choose from an array of transport options to traverse the continent. And while Europe's language diversity can be a challenge, it also adds to the charm and adventure of the journey. With a good language app in your pocket, you're all set to conquer Europe. So why wait? Start planning your European adventure today. What if I told you that a single continent could offer you a taste of the world's most diverse cultures, landscapes, and cuisines? Welcome to Europe, a landmass that's been luring travelers for centuries with its rich tapestry of history, art, and adventure. Remember the time when I set foot in Italy? Ah, the smell of freshly baked pizza wafting through the streets of Naples, the clinking of wine glasses in Tuscany, the mesmerizing art in Florence, and the romantic gondola rides in Venice. Each city in Italy felt like a different country, offering unique experiences that are etched in my memory forever. Then, there was the trip to Spain. 
the vibrant colors of Barcelona, the passion of flamenco dancers in Seville, the architectural marvels of Madrid, and the mouth-watering paella of Valencia. The Spanish zest for life is infectious and left an indelible mark on my heart. And oh, the charm of France, the elegance of Paris, the lavender fields of Provence, the vineyards of Bordeaux, and the glamorous beaches of the French Riviera. France was like a beautiful painting, full of color, texture, and emotion. Crossing over to the east, the enchanting landscapes of Croatia stunned me. The medieval walls of Dubrovnik, the pristine beaches of Havar, and the breathtaking Plitvice lakes. Croatia was an unexpected surprise, a hidden gem that captivated my senses. And who can forget the Nordic wonders? The magical Aurora Borealis in Norway, the geothermal wonders of Iceland, the fairy tale like towns of Denmark, and the archipelagos of Sweden. The Nordic countries showed me that nature is the most beautiful artist. Each country in Europe has a story to tell, a culture to share, a cuisine to taste, and a landscape to admire. It's a vast, diverse continent that offers you a slice of the world. From the sunny beaches of Greece to the snow-clad Alps of Switzerland, from the bustling markets of Turkey to the quiet fjords of Norway, Europe is a traveler's paradise. In summary, Europe is a mosaic of experiences. My travels across this diverse continent have been full of memorable encounters and unforgettable sights. The rich history of Italy, the vibrant culture of Spain, the elegance of France, the natural beauty of Croatia, and the Nordic wonders have all left a lasting impression. The diversity of Europe is its strength. It's a continent where every country, every city, and every village offers something unique. It's a place where you can wander through history, immerse yourself in different cultures, indulge in diverse cuisines, and marvel at the breathtaking landscapes. I encourage you to explore this diverse continent, to taste its flavors, to experience its cultures, and to soak in its beauty. Europe is not just a destination. It's a journey, a story, an adventure. It's a place where you can create your own unique experiences and memories. So, go ahead, pack your bags, and set off on your European adventure. Who knows what wonders await you?